What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome to Project Sky. This is an indie game. This is a demo that just dropped as I'm recording this, and I saw, you know, a little bit of the gameplay of it. I've been following it on Twitter for a little bit, and let me tell you, it looks really good. From what little bit that I saw, it looks really good. And like I said, the demo just dropped. And I thought, hey, why not help this game out by playing it, see what it's like. I think I'm going to enjoy it. I mean, I have a little wolf partner. I mean, you can't get any better than that. If you haven't, you know, seen anything about Project Sky, I'm going to leave a link to their Twitter down in the description and we're going to see how this game goes. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get right on into it. Welcome to Project Sky. The game set in a vast science fantasy world of old technology and untamed wilderness. This build contains one quest line that was specifically made for the purposes of a demo. This experience is an incredibly small taste of what I have planned for this game. The purpose of this demo is to share the feeling of freedom that hawk wolves provide and to see where improvements need to be made on both movements, mechanics, and bow combat. Should you encounter bugs, please fill out bug report. Both of these are accessible in the pause menu. Game is a work of love, but please understand it is a work in progress. Some bugs should be expected and a lot of what you see will change drastically as a demo is. And here's the thing, I'm actually having to play on mouse and keyboard. So, <laughs> I already know my hands are going to be killing me after this, but it's worth it. Alrighty, Waz, sometimes the only way out is further in. The in-game help menu will populate new topics as you uh, detail Rico uh, game mechanics not explained. Yeah, you receive health notifications. Alrighty, let's just get on in it. Pick up your bow. Healing elixir? Can I get a healing elixir too? Well, I guess they're the only things in there. That's the only thing that was in here. Okay. Cool. Now, where is my... Ah, there it is. Come here, bow. Try out your bow. Right-click to aim... Pretty self-explanatory. That's generally how things are. Quick press sheath, unsheath, open weapon wheel. Okay. I can open the weapon wheel. Kind of reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn. Consumables. Uh, Q does that. Quick press to use consumables. All right, let's open this. This is a... That's a wall? Am I supposed to, like, shoot that? Oh, it says patch yourself up. I'm an idiot. There we go. I just need to follow what the game says. Advance deeper into the facility. Look for a way out. Okay. I mean, this is a pretty decent way out. Hunter arrow. Break camp. Medical action. Oh. Hunter arrow. Pause it. Inspect. I don't know. <laughs> oh, n now do I shoot it? No. I don't shoot it. Oh, straight through here. <laughs> Duh. Alrighty, we are crouching in. Like I said, mouse and keyboard is not my forte. While moving to sprint. What did it say to slide? I completely, I completely missed that. Oh crap. <laughs> ah, left, uh, shift and then control. Okay. Most environments in Project Sky will be filled with objects you can interact with or destroy. Some will only need a single arrow, while others might require another tool or perhaps something in the environment. Sometimes your goal will be obvious, other times you will have to investigate your surroundings to determine what you may have to do to progress. Alright, that makes sense. 
Sometimes it may be obvious, sometimes not. Destroy the vet locks. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Give me my arrow, give me my arrow. Ooh, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. All right, we are moving right along. This is so freaking gorgeous. Look at this. Saving. Look for something you can use to clear the debris. All righty, first thing I see is this over here. What is this? A drone? Stasis field active. Okay. So I see a drone thingy that has a stasis thingy on it. Weapon control. So that's that's what I'm assuming is a gigantic laser. Uh huh. I figured it had something to do with that, uh, with what was over there. Figure out how to lower the stasis field. So, my first instance is to walk over here and pull it out. But my... <laughs> but my second instance is to shoot it. Technically, my first instance was to shoot it. But, you know... Just taking things one step at a time. Paying a target for the missile silo. Packhound missile silos. Packhound missile silos operate by firing a swarm of missiles that seek out and pursue targets painted by targeting drones. Move drone, space, move up, move down, turn drone, activate targeting beam. Okay. So we're gonna move up. And activate the targeting beam. And it's Z to exit dismount vehicle. So we're gonna go over here and then press this. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm surprised the drone didn't get destroyed. Like, can I take it with me? I mean, well, it it's a drone. <laughs> I mean, all I gotta say is you standing around a corner won't mean dick because it'll just shoot right through it, you know? <laughs> EMP grenades, that's a lot of grenades. Throwables are powerful consumable items that can give you the upper hand in many encounters. Some are more versatile while others have very specific uses. Make sure you use them well as they can be hard to both find and craft. Oh! Okay, so don't get stingy with the consumables. Don't be wasteful. Okay, that's how you jump at least. Now, uh, whoops. <laughs> There's something for me to grab a hold of up here. Let's see. Working, working on it. There we go. I'm figuring this out, y'all. I'm figuring this out. <laughs> Alrighty. Boop. And we are going up. That was a very short ride. Alrighty, where am I now? Leave the ruins behind. Research base S4G3. Alright, yeah. Screw this place. I'm just gonna take... Wow! <laughs> Plasma arrow, commonly used by the lupine Rakutai hunters. Heavy enough to pierce through the metal hide of any machine. This particular arrow was made with components from unstable plasma hardening components. Nice, give me that. Some weapons are available to you are able to use more than one type of ammo. Yep. Most entities are either weak to specific damage types or invulnerable to others. 
R. Jesus, I have so many buttons to remember. <laughs> An arrow commonly used by the loop hunter kind of heavy enough to pierce through the metal hide of any machine is made. Okay, so shock arrow, and then it's just more hunter arrows. Alrighty, so we're pretty stocked up on ammo. And out we are. My gosh, man. Look at how pretty this is. Holy hell, this is so pretty. And then, this is our companion, our Hawk Wolf. I'm going to name you Jethro. <laughs> Hawk Wolves are fearsome apex predators characterized by their swift movements and deadly arm razors. They act as lifelong companions to those who possess both the bravery and knowledge required to tame them. Ashki is one such companion, and she is yours to ride. Hawk wolves are able to glide, wall run, and drift. They are also completely immune to fall damage. Bless you, because I was probably going to fall off a cliff as soon as I got in this game. On rare occasions, some hawk wolves also temporarily gain different abilities when exposed to certain elements. Oh, look at it. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Ashki. Investigate the distant smoke. Oh, yes. Woo! Fly like an eagle. With Ashki. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> this is amazing. This is really good. Woo! Can you imagine being on the back of one of these things in real life, though? Oh, that would be so good. Gives me a Horizon Zero Dawn and a Skyrim kind of vibe. Wow! Machinist Warstrider Sage, the Broodmother. Take down the Warstrider. Yo, look at that! Can I do combat on Wolfback? Or do I have to dismount? Was I given a button to dismount? Okay, here we go. Now combat has started. I don't know if I was even get given a dismount button. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, now. Woo, holy shit. <laughs> whoa, slow down. Your mount can die much like you can. You will need specific medicine for different mounts. To use an item on your mount, hold E. Open the action menu, select your mount's icon. From there, select the consumable you wish to use. Keep an eye on your mount's HP. They need you as much as you need them. Well, I am already, I am already a very poor daddy. <laughs> Ow. Oh my God. <laughs> I got the hang of what I'm doing. Yes. Woo. Yeah, I destroyed one of his cannons. All righty. Now we still have one more to get rid of. Or at least I thought I got rid of one of the cannons. I must have disabled it at the very least. Yeah, oh, ow. Okay, so I was too, I was too close to the explosion. Willing them down slowly but surely. What about the shock arrows? Ah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. 
Yeah! Hell yeah! I'm getting your strats down now, buddy! Okay, be mindful of where hearts are destroyed at. Or I'm just gonna be like wasting these arrows. Ow! Hey, at least you destroyed. Oh no! This guy's dead! You bastards! Combat drone? I can only look at it. Shoot. This guy is dead. I've lost the advantage of being able to move around. But it's alright though. We're gonna continue the fight. Almost out of arrows. I am almost out of arrows. What do I do whenever I run out of arrows? Is, is it like just done at that point? <laughs> Got it. So I have to target those things. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. That makes a whole lot of sense. Got him. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. I just have to target those things. Yes. Alright, I've got the strategy down now. I have been recording for almost an hour and a half trying to beat this guy. Put it down. Put that foot down. Ah! Shoot. All right, hold on. Let's heal up first. Yeah, got it. Ow. Ashkey, Ashkey, let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Woo, that was close. That was very close. Let's get you healed up. Because I can't do this without you. Oh! When moving quickly in the air, hold it to glide and then take to the skies. I I have this figured out already. Did the game just shut down on me? Okay. Okay, there we go. I got it. Woo, that was close. Shit. 
Warstrider down. Congratulations. You've taken down the Warstrider and reached the end of this short demo. I want to thank you for taking the time to download and play this. I hope at the very least it has helped me in getting you excited for what's to come. It did. Though the demo is done, feel free to run and fly around the Frozen Scar as much as you like. I wanted to give a special thanks to Lewis, who created just about every sound effect present in the demo. The experience would not have been the same without his talent. Please consider checking him out on his work on Twitter. A, g give a shout out to these indie developers, man. I strongly recommend you take a look at the future plans topic in the help menu. If you're interested in hearing about future content, I hope you enjoyed your time with Project Sky and that you will try it again in the future, perhaps once the next demo is released. Oh, hell yeah. Of course I will. Oh, man. I just hope that y'all integrate controllers because... My wrist is screaming at me right now. It is screaming at me so, so bad right now. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here. If you want to check out this demo for yourself, I'm going to put a link to their website down in the description below and you can follow the, you know, instructions to download the uh, demo. Oh man, that was so good. That was so good. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Give the video a like. If you haven't already, why not consider subscribing for more of this mayhem? Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.